Good evening. How are you? This is one of the most exciting shows you can imagine you're going to see tonight because these are two of my good friends, Vinnie Martell and Denver recording artist Peg Pearl are here. And it's so special, I can't tell you. They are some of the greatest, greatest singers and inspiring singers that I've ever heard. So let's not wait another second. Let's get them rolling and hear some beautiful, beautiful music. Sitting in a railway station, got a ticket for my destination. On a tour of one night stands, my suitcase and guitar in hand. Every stop is neatly planned for a poet and a one man band. Homeward oh, bound, I wish I were. Homeward bound Home Where my thoughts escaping Home Where my music's playing Home Where my love lies waiting silently for me Tonight I'll sing my songs again I'll play the games And pretend Stop looks the same to me The movies and the factories Every stranger's face I see Reminds me how I long to be Homeward bound I wish I were Homeward bound Home Where my thoughts escaping Home Where my music's playing Home when my love lies waiting silently for me Thank you. It's our pleasure to be here tonight on the show. And uh, next song we have is a beautiful song about the good Lord Jesus. Midnight is 
my darkest hour. Midnight is my darkest hour. Midnight is my darkest hour. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You may have all this world. Give me Jesus. guitar right here and that's how we feel about it and right now we're going to do a song by Crosby, Stills and Ash and Young and it's about the kids and it's called Teach Your Children. Ever 
ask them why If they told you you would cry So just look at them and sigh And know they love you Just look at them and sigh And know they love you Don't you ever ask them why If they told you you would cry So just look at them and sigh Okay, so that was absolutely fantastic. Uh, when last time we met, we were saying that the next time we meet, we're going to have our friend, Brother Frank Minucci, come on board with us, who was a gangster that became a minister. God, God bless him. He's, he's home now with the Lord. He passed away. Brother Frank Minucci uh, like, was uh, good friends of ours, oh, wasn't man, he? What a wonderful, yes. what a wonderful man. Started out with uh, such a rough beginning and ended up beautiful working for the Lord and doing stuff for the Lord. Amen. And every time he talked about you guys, it was like you were the best in the world. Every time. Just a wonderful man, a wonderful Best man. in the world. He said, vanilla fudge, peg pearl. Yeah. The guy. I mean, <laughs> what, what I mean by that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he is the lead guitarist, Vince Martel, Vinnie Martel of... Vanilla Fudge, and they've been around a while. And uh, just the other day, I was watching Jimmy Fallon live, uh, one of the shows, and and there he was up there singing, uh, "Keep Me Hanging right, On." Right, that's the song. What, right. What a classic! It got the whole audience. <clears throat> uh, I tell went you, nuts. Yeah, he's a great guy too to, to be on the show. With. He's a real nice cat. Was he? Yeah, a real, uh -huh. real nice, personable guy. Came around. We had a. Uh, we hung out in the green room uh, from about 12 noon, and then we shoot the show at about 6. And uh, then we could actually get home and watch the show. Incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Incredible. And Denver recording artist, Peg Pearl. Thanks for having us again. I mean, your voice is off the charts. Thank you. I mean, it's beautiful. When we end the show tonight, she's going to end with the Lord's Prayer, and it's going to be, you, you've got to stay with us, because you got, it, the, the singing to me is, it, it, it's just uh, the, the best of the best. That's Thank the you. only way I could put it. And that. I'm going to go further, because it's spirit-filled. Okay, That's right. we both believe in the same God, the same Jesus. Oh, you got it. And like That's he good. said before, he's got Jesus written on his guitar. And uh, wherever you go, right? That's oh, right. yeah, man. I, and you see the back of my jacket? Uh, well, yeah, well, let's show everybody. All right. Well, excuse me, my back. But yeah, okay. Brotherhood Gotta move. Jesus Brotherhood of Jesus Christ. How about that, huh? Amen. It's what you do when you do battle in the secular world. You have to go armed. That's right. And for people that don't know what that means, what, is, what does that mean, go armed? Well, you have to live what you believe, and we have to show that we are Jesus' disciples in everything we do. And in the world of rock, you're immersed in drugs and cursing and the worst of the worst. And it's like a little ray of light when he goes on stage with that vest. And many people come up to him and say, wow, you know, you believe in Jesus? 
And, you know, Jesus' people find each other. They find Is that one something? another. Yeah. Is that something how, how they can go uh, into the world like this and still be a shining light, a beacon for... I, I, listen, it's obvious the power of God working in both of your lives. It's it's phenomenal. Thank you. I love it. I it, love doing it. It's phenomenal. Um, what's this new record spirit? 67. That means Vanilla Fudge has been around for 50 years. Yes. Uh, this is our 50th year, actually. 50 years. And where did it all go? Where did it all go? Know, it flies by. That's why I get to stay on with the Lord, because he talks about living forever. Right. I like the idea, because this 50 went by in about five years, it feels mm -hmm. like. So uh, I like what the Lord says. In Fifty it. years. In fact, if I may say, First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine: The eye hasn't seen, the ear hasn't heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man the promises that God has for those who love Him. He loves us. Oh. Look at the beautiful world He made. I mean, hopefully the people don't tear it apart too much. But yeah. I mean, He really is such a wonderful God. I, I, I really thank him for giving me my whole life I, you know can can you and peg can you uh tell us how he got you how did jesus get you and then all of a sudden you you, you you're talking and you're singing about him what was it like you heard a voice or did you get inspired or did someone talk to you about the lord how did that happen you know something i'd say in my case it's a combination Mm -hmm. uh, I always felt close to the Lord. I grew up, I had a, a beautiful uh, childhood, I, I feel like. I had, uh, I had great uh, parents. Uh, I'm Italian, Marta Mucci is my real last name. How about that? And uh, so, you know, we were Catholic, we went to a church. My mother made sure we went to church every Sunday and Sunday school. So I grew up uh, loving the Lord mm -hmm. and uh, feeling he was always there. And then I joined the Navy before the Vanilla Fudge. I was in the Navy. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, and what happened was that I uh, could have uh, come to the end uh, um, on some different situations that I was in. What do you mean the end? Well, I could have died. Okay. Uh, I feel like uh, j just just crazy stuff you do when you're in the service when you're 17. You know, you drink it and you get drunk and you you're walking around in Norfolk, Virginia with a bunch of guys and uh, just crazy things going mm. on. Then I was in the Cuban crisis. So we went Whoa. down for that. Whoa. Yeah, we went down for that. And everybody that was in Little Creek Amphibious Base in Norfolk, Virginia, every show, I called home, I said to the folks, you know, hopefully we'll get together again and all this. I didn't want to sound too like that, but it was pretty big deal stuff going mm. on. And, uh, but, you know, that went by and uh, that was good. And then I, uh, uh, was in Florida playing music in Florida, mm -hmm. and then I came out, and I just did a lot of uh, you know uh, I did some stupid stuff, the, the drinking and the driving, uh -huh. going over 100 miles an hour out of Corvette, uh, you know loaded with the booze. I mean, thank the good Lord I didn't get into the heavy drugs, because it was offered to me a few occasions, and I thank the Lord that I never got into the heavy stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it. And I was, uh, I, I just did a few situations in life that I look back uh, that I could have lost the whole thing. So what happened is the Lord was tugging at me, I feel, all the way through. And then I also, uh, a lot of people uh, uh, got involved that I talked to. And one of them is Joey Brennan, who was the drummer from the Pigeons. And we were the Pigeons before wow. we were the Vanilla Fudge. Wow. And Joey actually... Wow did heroin, I'm just paraphrasing very fast, died for a handful of minutes and came back. And he tells his story. He was Mr. Yeah. Wild but anyway, crazy guy. What happened is that he did heroin. Unfortunately, right. he got into the heavy stuff, uh -huh. died. After what he saw, he was going down, he saw burning, he smelled garbage, it was a horrible thing. He came back, he, d he works for the Lord now. Wow! He's a big show. In fact, That's I'd, great. I'd like to see, if, uh, get him on some of these radio and TV Next shows. Next time, will you bring him with? We'll bring, you got oh, it. Amen. Okay. Because I told sure. him we're coming here. Uh -huh. And I said, Joe, you should do it. And he says, well, maybe the next time you do it, I can come down with you guys. Yeah. Absolutely. You got it. You got it. I'm going to You'll be glad to hear that. Uh-huh. And he is so into the Lord that we just started talking. I decided I got to get more into the Lord. I mean, wow. I don't, I don't want to wait till I get into that situation. And I got into a couple of drug situations where I saw some stuff that I said I had to hold on to uh, Jesus. 
Uh huh. Big time. So he's, it's real, and don't wait until you're at the end of your days and then turn to the Lord when the chips are down. Mm -hmm. Thank him while you got an mm -hmm. opportunity because you might not have tomorrow. That's you know, right. We never know. And That's most, right. And most importantly, the sinner's prayer. The sin, and sinner's you want to tell prayer. everybody about that? Oh, uh, yes. It's where you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you, you're not born again until you do that. There are many religions that have rituals, and they're all wonderful, but until you accept Jesus as your personal Savior, it's not really going to happen for you. So Can you, ask for Jesus' prayer. How did it happen prayer. for you, Peg? Do you remember? Um, actually, that's because of Joe Brennan. He actually brought us into that born-again world where we were still Catholic, and he showed us exactly what we needed to do. And uh, we did the sinner's prayer, and we became a part of his church. Oh, the sinner's prayer? Well, it's just, it, it could yeah, be... Jesus, it, forgive me. It's... It could be the simplest thing. It could just be, I accept uh, you, Lord Jesus, for As everything you've done. As my Lord and done. Savior. Please enter into my life, my heart, my, my spirit, my soul, and I accept you, and I uh, yeah. thank you for everything, and just please take me and use me for whatever right. whatever that you want. Right. Amen. Okay. Amen. Okay. Like that. Right. Okay. It's that simple, huh? It is that simple. And then simple. all of a sudden we're transformed like that. Well, you have to work at it. It's a promise that you make well, to Jesus that you are going to follow his path. Right. You, you know, I, 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 I get in these situations, I, I just feel like I, what I should say to, to tell everybody is like, you know, Jesus, study the book, the Bible. I mean, the Lord gave us, a, a, you know, a basic instructions before leaving earth, B-I-B-L-E, and kind of it makes sense. The Lord made the whole universe and every single thing you see, you think, you know of, that the Lord made every single thing. And so therefore, thank him for it because it, he's the guy that everything you like in life, what, what do you like to do? You like to eat, you like to sleep, you like, what? A, he made it. It didn't just say, it wasn't no big bang theory and then everything came out perfect. I mean, it's not like that. The Lord has this plan before we were even conceived. See, that's what's incredible. Right. He wrote our life before this e we before even got we here. Even able, before that's we know, right. we didn't know anything. Mm -hmm. right. So, and we didn't. He didn't have to make us particularly be born. It's a gift. So we have to thank him, and he, I even thank him for stuff that goes wrong. Because the Lord wants you to just be totally into the Lord. And it's a lot of testing. He might be testing you That's or right. whatever. But the thing is, just put your faith in the Lord. That's right. I, I'm still here. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, a lot of guys are. And Jimmy Hendrix, we toured with him. I talked to him like we're talking. Right. He died at 27 years old. It was 27, huh? That young. Jim Morrison, we did a gig with him, a couple of gigs in Seattle, Washington, and stuff. He's 27. He died. Janis Joplin, 27. What's with 27? Kurt Cobain. Get past it. Get your life together. This is your test, your chance to get right with the Lord so he, you can have forever. He promised it to us, forever. Mm. Don't blow it, people. Don't be stupid and be, try to get the most you can out of this. This one's going fast and it's passing by. Get into what's going to last forever. Put Amen. Your, your treasures, store them up in heaven. Don't put them up on here where moth and rust takes everything away and you die there's no jesus uh, uh, he overcame death uh, that's right that's right and Vinny, it's so true how fast the time goes oh i mean oh. like 50 years of vanilla fudge gone boom just like that <laughs> just like that i mean uh, i always think of what billy graham said what's his biggest surprise he ever had in life and he says how fast it goes oh yeah <laughs> it's so Absolutely. true you know something Pete? I couldn't wait to be 17. I swear to God, when I was a kid growing up, I mm. couldn't wait. To, I joined the Navy. The day I became 17, I wanted to go in. <clears throat> tell, tell me about the veterans, the <clears throat> three hots in a cot, rock uh, vets. Well, <clears throat> three hots in a cot is a fellow that we uh, uh, know named J.D. Simpson down mm -hmm. in Birmingham, Alabama. And he started out with one group home, and he used to get veterans that were... Uh, living on the bridges and stuff like this. I mean, it's crazy in this country that we have veterans mm. that uh, uh, nobody's taken care of. I'm glad now we're mm. starting to take care of them. They, you know, they gave a lot. Some of them gave everything, like the song says. Some gave all, right? Uh, and 
Mm. Uh, so he goes and he brings these guys. He got one group home going, and we ended up that he ended up having 11 group homes. Mm. We went down to uh, Birmingham, Alabama. We did a concert. I got a friend of mine, an auctioneer. Yeah. Uh, and this guy has guitars signed by Dolly Parton and everybody, Obama, everybody had guitars signed. Really? He ended up making uh, $24,000. So the guy ended up, Home wow. Depot helped him out. He got 11 group homes. He's got all these veterans in there. So we ended up, we did a couple of concerts, went down there. Mm. So it's just, it's a beautiful thing. And, oh. and the other one. Rock our vets. Rock our vets. It's uh, uh, who's the big guy on here? Uh, right? It's uh, well, Vinny's on the one yeah. of the chairmen on the board, I'm, I'm and it's thank God. And it's oh. also uh, Dave Mason from Dave Traffic. Mason. He's uh, Dave Mason. He's a big art, a big artist, Dave Mason. For people that don't know him, Traffic he was in. He did, he did some jamming with Hendrix, as I did. Really, I jammed with uh -huh. Jimmy Hendrix, and uh, a lot of people. And uh, the, the guy from Grand Funk Railroad, Mark Farner. Oh, man. He's on that. Whoa. And we did a cruise with him last year. Really? Yeah, we did a couple of cruises. They paid us to go on a Bahamas cruise. We had like five days. The last cruise, uh, listen to this. Some of the stuff in rock and roll isn't so bad. They flew us to, to Montego Bay, Jamaica. Oh. Stayed at the Half Moon Resort where uh, 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 President George Bush Sr. stayed. Mm -hmm. Barry Goldwater had stayed there. The Queen of England had stayed there. They pay us to go to the state. It was 400 acres. It's beautiful. And now Martel Vince Martell stayed. stayed there. Vince Martell <laughs> stayed there. Now <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and <clears throat> it was fantastic. Yeah. It was palm trees. It was all white chalets. 400 acres, th uh, this place, on the ocean. I got videos and pictures of this. It's fantastic. And hamburgers, 40 bucks a, bu a pop. <laughs> For a hamburger. For a hamburger. In <laughs> but, Jamaica. Oh. But, but, Is yeah, it they, a good hamburger? I didn't have it. I don't. I don't <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the next morning, me and the bass player had... Uh, Breakfast uh -huh. and a uh, hundred dollars for the two of us. We didn't have to pay because we were on the cruise. Wow! But uh, for the, breakfast. But uh, anyway, he was on there. Uh, Mark Farner was on the, uh, and he's in, he's into the Lord now. Wow! Oh, man. A lot of so, saved oh, people. A, a lot of people are. Uh, wow. Alice Cooper. He's into the Lord. Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper, little guy. He met him in California. Yeah, he's into a lot of people. Really? A lot of people are getting into Jesus because I guess everybody's realizing that this isn't just happen. So the Rock Art Vets has a lot of uh, people involved, and they do concerts, and it's out of Jersey. And uh, so I'm, you know, involved with these situations and glad mm -hmm. to do it. Oh, yes, these are all nonprofit. It's cotsforvets.org. And the other one, Rock Art Vets, it's rockartvets.org, if anybody wants to see the work they do. That would be great. They could check my website, vincemartel.com. I got all this stuff on there. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So vincemartel.com. And you got everything. If you didn't write it down fast enough, vincemartel.com. And another thing. That's, you, I'm sorry, M-A-R-T-E-L-L. -L. Yeah. It's really like I say, Marta Mucci, but I've been using Martel so long. <laughs> Sometimes people come up and say, and they say to me, hey, my name is Martel. Are we related? And I got to go, no, I'm just using your name. It's crazy. <laughs> Hey, could you tell us a little bit about tunes and testimony? Yes, tunes and testimony. Uh, Vinny, of course, as we were talking about, has a you know wealth of experience in the secular world of rock. And what we do now is, at his, when he's not on tour as a duo, we go to different churches and he gives his testimony. And we play music. And this is a way of bringing the Lord to people, sort of capture them. You know, they come in to see Vince Martell of Vanilla Fudge, and then you, you slay him with the Lord. You know? Hey, I like yeah. that. Oh, I did one. I'm I like that. You, let me <laughs> yeah. tell you, me too. And it's very inspiring, and it's uh -huh. hum humbling. Mm -hmm. Because the first one I did, we worked it out. The first thing I did when I went up in front of the people, if they introduced me, and we did a few songs first, mm -hmm. but then I did a prayer. And there was a congregation. It was a Sunday morning, which is rough for me to do. Sunday morning, Paramus. I live down by Philly. <laughs> wow. Right? So the first thing I had to do, I get up in front of everybody, and I had this humbling prayer. And I'm telling the Lord in front of everybody, uh, please let me say the right words. And let me do and it was like, it's like soul wow. cleansing almost wow. to do something like that. Get up in front of everybody and say a humbling prayer to the Lord. But it, it feels beautiful. I mean, that's why I like, I love playing in church. We play in a lot of churches. Uh -huh. Besides still doing the vanilla fudge stuff, 
We're playing uh, in a lot of churches, and I love it. There's something about playing for the Lord. You know, the Lord made rock and roll. That's how I look. He made all the music. He made everything. Right. Just use it in a respectful manner. Be, don't be afraid to thank him for the glories he gives us. Amen. And let, this is right from a rock and roll. Right here, number one rock and roll guy who loves Jesus. Amen I mean, to that. That's right. I mean, it's it's just incredible. It's just incredible how these two are touching souls everywhere they go. And when I hear every time I hear them sing, or I'll turn on old shows and I'll see them on Jimmy Fallon Live, the audience is going nuts. Everybody loves these two. And now you go into different churches, and you're giving your testimonies, and you're singing on top of that. Amen. That's right. I mean. Well, what you're doing is, it's just, I mean, that that's preordained. You guys were predestined right. to do this. Actually, I, right. I'm ordained. You know, Brother Frank ordained me. Uh, so I feel like I have Reverend? to do yeah. yeah. Reverend Vinnie Marta. So I have to do some stuff for the Lord. And I, I really thank the Lord for the opportunity that while I'm still alive on the planet, I can do something for him. Because when I get to heaven, you can't really thank the Lord and do stuff big time. Then you've earned the, the wonderful presence of mm. forever. Here is where you get a chance to go out of your way and meet people that aren't believers or whatever and thank them. And I want to do some of that while I'm here. Wow. Wow. So when you go in, Peg, you go into church and you guys set up and you start singing, what, what's the response? I, I, I mean, you go in all kinds of churches, yes. right? Usually people are expecting, you know, rock and roll, secular show. And we start out, you know, with like with the uh, Simon and Garfunkel. But then we break into worshiping, praise and worship songs. And people actually, they love it. And they say, wow, you know, we had no idea that you were going to be doing that kind of music here. And people really love it. So they're responding like, hey, yes. tell me more. Exactly. Or sing more. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, sing more. Yeah, sometimes they ask us for encores. And, uh, and then they come and talk to Vinny and they realize, you know, we are working for the Lord. And if I may say, we make a lot of plans in our lives, but who in a million years knows what they're going to be doing in a few years? In a million years, mm. I don't think when Vinny started out with the Vanilla Fudge, would he have thought he would be a reverend? and that we would be giving wow. testimony in churches well, and that? spreading his word. This is our apostolic work at this point. Yeah, we love to do it. And uh, the other thing is, uh, but it's not that every time we play in church that I give a testimony. Sometimes they, you know, the pastor, it's up to them. Mm -hmm. If they want to do their, their, their uh, do the talking about the Lord and stuff, and I'll say a couple of things, but, you know, I, I, I'm not afraid to talk. So sometimes <laughs> i got to call cool myself off. Don't say to me. I like the way you something. talk, brother. Yeah. I can listen to him for hours, both singing and talking. <laughs> Thank you. I'm from the Bronx, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> Forget about it. Anyway, I What's the greatest experience you had singing about the Lord? Peg, what would you say? One of the most, well, uh, maybe not the greatest experience. What's, do you have, like, one of the most moving experiences? Like you felt such the power of the Shekinah glory coming upon you? Uh, yes, I believe that happened uh, one New Year's Eve. We were at the Paramus Church of the Nazarene, and uh, I sang the Lord's Prayer, and I just felt, when the song ended, I almost didn't know where I was because I felt the power wow. of His glory filling me, and it wow. was really beautiful. And I think people felt that because a lot of people came up and said, wow, I had chills, and so they were feeling that, the Holy Spirit descending. I bet you the glory cloud was in there. Yeah, I believe that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? And that's that's what it's all about, right, Vinny? Right. It's beautiful. I'll tell you, like I say, it's wonderful playing in church. Uh, I really enjoy it. And uh, Pastor Charlie Rizzo uh, up in uh, Paramus, where Peg just mentioned, there's, there's a beautiful church up there. And Brother Joey Brennan uh -huh. is involved he's in that in church. Big uh, he's time. coming next time, right? He's going to come down here next time we do the yeah. show. You got it. I'll yeah. make sure he'll be happy. Oh, man. That, that will be great. <laughs> We did a. We just did a radio show uh, for Hamilton Radio uh, 
two days ago. Yes, it's called Sold Out, like S O U L, Sold Out Christian I Outreach. I like that. That's yeah. great. Right? <laughs> and it's a pastor, it's a pastor John, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a, another fellow that's with him. Uh, what's the other guy? Rich name? Jeffies and Pastor John Acunzo. Right, and, uh, and then we we played for Pastor uh, Fred Mars down around Cape May, New Jersey. We did a couple of gigs in uh -huh. his yeah. church. Wow. For sure. We played there. Uh, then we do the. Uh, that other church pastor, Steve, mm -hmm. uh, he's in... Uh, well, yeah, Methodist or Presbyterian, we're all yeah, over. Yeah, in, uh, Methodist and Presbyterian, yeah. whoa. Yeah. So now we want to get the Catholic churches, too. That's now we're talking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was asked, to, too, if I wanted to go to Israel, because Pastor Charlie Rizzo in Paramus yes. uh, mm -hmm. Church... Uh, and Joey Brennan said they might be going next year. Pastor Charlie has gone here about 30 times, I think, wow. to Israel. Yeah. And you got the new record, Spirit of 67, Spirit of 67. coming out. Yeah. It's got all songs from 1967. Keep me hanging on? No, no, but we, we did all different songs. Motown. Uh -huh. Hey, listen, real quick. I mean, tell everybody how you met and, 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 and what, what happened. Was it a ball of uh, electricity? Boom. <laughs> oh, how it was, was it? Come on, you're a rock and roll guy. Like that. How, what, 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 <laughs> what, I mean, were you just like... <laughs> No, uh, it's it's a funny story. Uh, my dad was uh, worked for NYPD, and when he retired, he decided to work for immigration, believe it or not. So we ended up moving around. One of the places we ended up in was Denver, Colorado, and that's kind of where I had my band and oh, everything okay. developed for me there. Uh -huh. And my dad was looking in the um, paper for uh, different things for me as a songwriter. You know, he's always looking up... Uh, uh, advertisements and it said uh, New York producer looking for singer songwriter original music and he said hey send a tape so I did and it turns out that the person to whom I sent my music was the engineer on the Vanilla Fudge's first album and Vinny was doing a recording at the time and we hooked up I came out I did some tracks and I never went back to Colorado there you go. Predestined, <laughs> brother. It was That's already right. written. It was already written. Got here. It was already well, the first written. Time I That's peg. I did get that flash of, whoa, this is cool. Oh, and before you go on, would you like to know that today is the anniversary of the day we first met in person? Can you believe that? October 12th. Tell, and we know there's no coincidence? No. Thank you, Lord. Only God incidents. That is terrific. How is God working in your marriage today? Do you have any, like, down days? Or is it always like, oh, Peg, this is a beautiful day. I'm going to sing no. to you every morning. <laughs> da -da -ba -da -da. No, no, we yeah. have our, uh, our uh, times that we d disagree on and st stuff like that. So you're, you're normal? Oh, we're normal yeah. people. Oh, right. we, we, you know, we disagree, but I, I try to let her win all the battles. You know what it is? I'm high pressure, and right. he's not. He's laid back. He's like, yeah, I man, groovy. Guess and sometimes it drives me nuts, pressure. but it's cool. Really? Oh. Are you Italian, too? Yeah. Uh, well, part my mother's Jewish, my father's Irish, and on my mother's side, I'm half Italian on that side. Okay, that's yeah. is that, what a good yeah. combination yeah. that is. Yeah, huh? fantastic. Mm -hmm. And me, I'm all Italian. I could be in a mob if I thank <laughs> you, Jesus. I am not. Let me tell you, I have a cousin that's related to some of that stuff, uh -huh. and I tell this. I just started telling the story in some of the places. You go to a family get-together, if he's there, you, you can't relax. You don't know. He's always <laughs> looking over his shoulder. It's like, I'm afraid to talk to him. Somebody's going to come running into place. No kidding. Not yeah. good. Uh, Not good. Not scary. good. Don't Pe do that. Peg, I remember what you told me last time. You said when you're down and out. Listen, everybody, I remember this from the last show when they were on. This was her exact answer. I said, what, when you're down and out or, or you're having a tough day or you don't know what's going to happen next, what do you do? And her answer was, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That's right. I never forgot it. Wow. Amen. And to this day, I'm always, something goes off wrong. Uh, wait a minute. Seek first the kingdom of God. Seek Jesus first. That's right. First. And everything else will follow. Absolutely. What's significant to me right now about you saying that is that is something that Joey Brennan has always said yeah. to us and said to me a lot of Listen, times. Listen, I, 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 I'm just, uh, um, every time I hear you sing, I really feel the power of God working. Yeah, that's you. beautiful. And, that and, and, I, and every time you speak, and I, I still hear the power of God working. Thank you. And uh, everyone out there, let me tell you how the Lord has touched these lives right here and how they're touching 
literally millions of people around the world. Everyone could have the same thing they got. Okay, all you got to do is the prayer, like they said earlier. Mm -hmm. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Surrender your life to him. And, uh, and no matter what you're going through, because we all have ups and downs, right? That's right. We all have ups and downs. No matter what you're going through, he promises he'll never leave us nor forsake us. And we can take that with us for eternity. Now, what better way is to end is to hear them sing. And I'm so looking forward to it because the final song that they sing is the Lord's Prayer. And I guarantee you, you will all be touched. So uh, we're so excited. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you oh, so much, both of you. Um, they're going to head on over now and uh, sing their songs. And we, they're going to end with the Lord's Prayer. And I thank you all for watching. God bless you all. And we'll see you next time. of rain that falls a flower grows I believe that somewhere in the darkest night a candle glows I believe for everyone who goes astray Someone will come to show the way. I believe, I believe, I believe above a storm, the smallest prayer will still be heard. I believe that some every word Every time I hear a newborn baby cry or touch a leaf He falls in the sky Then I know
was five and you were six We rode on horses made of sticks You wore black and I wore white You always let, let me win, win the fight. fight Bang, bang You shot me down Bang, bang I hit the ground Bang, bang You shot me down Bang, bang You used to shoot me Seasons came and changed the times When I grew up, I called you mine You would always laugh and say Remember how we used to play Bang, bang, you shot me down Bang, bang, I hit the ground Bang, bang, you shot me down Bang, bang, you used to shoot me down Sonny and Cher tune. We did it on the first Vanilla Fudge album, and we did a show in San Diego a little while back with the great Ben Vereen, and that's one of the songs we did on that show. Okay, the next song we'd like to do for you guys is a beautiful Christian song. We're going to do some of the verses for it, and if you're at home and you want to join in and sing with us, please do. Help us out here. The Lord will hear you. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Cause I once was lost, but now I'm found. 
was blind but now I see Grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieve how precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed come on help us out Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Yeah, yeah, cause I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. that the Lord has promised good to me his hope my faith secures and he will my shield and portion be as long as we both endure so amazing Sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Yes, I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. You know that when we've been there. Ten thousand years, bright and shining as the sun. Well, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. So amazing grace, how sweet. The sound that saved a wretch like me. Yes, I knew Jesus. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Hey, now I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Oh, yes, I once was lost, but now I'm found. Thanks to the good Lord, don't be lost. Was blind, but now I see. We have another song we're going to do for you guys, and we just want to say that thank you for, for being here on the beautiful show. Don't go anyplace, cause, but we want to do this song for you guys, and may the Lord richly bless everybody who's watching this program, and don't be ever 
ashamed to thank the Lord for every gift that he gives us. He loves us, and that's what we want to do, is inherit the beautiful promise of living forever. So how can you beat that? Deliver 